Clock at seven. Sharp. In trouble. Baycott trying to bail him out, and he will. Soft bounce for Baycott. To the letter by everyone involved. I'm so happy to be here alongside the Georgia Tech legend, Brian Oliver. That's a three-pointer, R.J. Davis. That's a three-pointer. Love. Leaky. What a shot, Brian. Keep an eye on that shot clock for the Tar Heels down to three. Brooks off the backboard and in for three. Three-point attempt is off the mark, but run down by Black. Stolen away Parham. Potential three on two. DeVoe hesitates and scores. And they've made nine of their last 11. That one goes back to the Yellow Jackets. Alvarado going 100 miles an hour. Scooping is right. It'll be their first game since November 27th. So we hope the Deeks get back in action. Also the Orange, too. They were supposed to play North Carolina on Saturday, and that game got postponed. That's a three-pointer from Walt. Baycott missed a gimme down there. He had a smaller Georgia Tech guard on him. Launching a three and rocking the rim is Parham again. Shot for a better shot. Jose Alvarado realized he had a wide-open Parham. Carolina comes back with a three of its own, and Walton again. Kerwin Walton is a three-point shooter, hitting his last three. Nine points, all in the second half for Walton. Now DeVoe wants to get into the act. Alvarado wants a reset. Shot clock goes to seven. Alvarado pulls up and ties the game. Watch out for Walton from three-point range. He's made three of them in this half. Sharp. One dribble and to the bucket. Moses right, right there at the corner has been dangerous for them throughout the second half. Alvarado around the edge. The runner, and he calculates the physics. Six to the conference at 89% from the line, but a miss and a chance for Carolina in this one possession game to tie it up. The miss from Davis, Alvarado. And for the second straight time, Georgia Tech beats the Tar Heels.